Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is pro um, which is uh, maximum width ramp. So here we are asking that we get an array of numbers, and we want um, there is a pair, right? Um, we call a ramp a pair of i and j such that j is bigger than i, and the number at position i is smaller or equal than the number at position j. And for this ramp we call the width of a, of a ramp basically the difference between the indices, so j minus i. And the goal of this problem is to find the maximum width of a ramp in the list of numbers, and if there is no ramp, we just want to return zero. Okay? And so, for example, let's see this array. So, the largest, the maximum, uh, the ramp with the maximum width is from zero to five, right? Because um, you can see here, um, i is smaller than j, and the number at position i, which is position 1 here, is smaller or equal than the number at position 5. Okay, So to get the ramp, we just do j minus i, and that gives us 4. So that's the main idea here. Now you can see we have up to 10 to the power of 4 elements. So that tells you we can do something that tries all the possible, um, maybe uh, all the possible, let's say, subarrays and takes the one with the maximum width. That's not going to pass. It's going to give us 10 to the power of 4. It's going to be n squared, so it's not going to pass. So how do we tackle this? Um, OK, so how do we tackle s something like this? So so the array is, we have an array, for example, the first example like this. And usually the shape of an array, is like this one where it's not sorted, it's going to be something like this, where we have a smaller element, bigger one, another smaller, uh, maybe something equal, bigger, right? It's going to be something like this, the shape of the array, right? Um, let me bring this over here, okay? And so what what can we do? Well, the, the main idea here that we can pursue is that if we go, th if we go right to left, right, in these positions, wh what matters for, for a position like this one? What does matter? Well, what matters is the elements to the left that are smaller than it, right? And the furthest possible is better, okay? So in this case, um, it's either this one or this one, right? Because this one, let's say, this is the, okay? And so how do we, how do, we do something that helps? Well, the I if we maintain sort of track of the of the decreasing elements right then then we should so this is for example in this case this is five we are at five so if we had maintained the decreasing element to the left then we can tell that the smaller the um the smaller one like the furthest one that is smaller than five is going to be zero six is doesn't qualify because it's bigger so what we can how do we do that then well, what we can do is maintain a stack, in this case, a monotonic one, where it's a stack of decreasing numbers, right? And so in our case here, we, what we'll do is we'll do a first pass to just fill up this stack, so, okay? And then after we do the first pass to fill this decreasing number stack, we can just go right to left, and for each position, right, just take the the top one, because the top one would be smaller, because this is a, a, a decreasing um, stack, because decreasing stack it would be something like, so, and it visibly it's like something like this in a stack. So, w we just look at the top one, and we get the difference, and then we pop it off, look at this one, and get the difference, and pop it off, okay? So, let's apply it on an example and see what we mean here. Um, the key idea, though, is we only care about these points for this one, only the points that are decreasing. And actually, this one, if uh, if I just clarify which one is, let's say this one is like this, then in this case, we only care about this one and this one, and maybe this one because it's smaller, right? So how do we accomplish this? Well, we can just go copy this first. And let's create our stack. So our stack will just go left to right. 
and so first we'll put six and then we will go zero is zero smaller than six yes so we can put it eight eight is is bigger than zero so we don't add it two is bigger than zero we don't add it because remember we want a decreasing stack okay because if we add two here that's useless because for any element to the right if it's if two is smaller than it then zero is smaller than it and it's always better to take zero because zero is further to the left, so the, the length would be bigger, so the width would be bigger. So it's not useful at all to have this two here because there is something already smaller than it. However, it's useful to have seven because what if we, to have this six because it's further to the left, because what if we had seven, right? Then it's better to have the range from this here to this here because six is smaller than seven. So it's better to have this range than just this range, okay? So that's the core idea. So we have our stack, we go to two, we don't add it. One is bigger than zero, we don't add it. Five is bigger than zero, we don't add it. Seven is bigger than zero, we don't add it. So at the end, we have our decreasing stack that contains the smaller um, elements, okay? And so now we can do another pass right to left in this case. So we copy this, let's do the now our right to left pass. So we can remove these, remove this. Um, okay, uh, we don't need this. Okay, now so for our right to left, we go here first, right? And we look in the stack to see the top, we first check the top one, right? So what we do is, um, we of course have our best ramp so far, which is initially zero. Okay, and then we check, so this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. So what we wanna do is we wanna check the top of the stack, the element at the top of the stack, which is in Python just minus one. We wanna find one that is smaller or equal than this, let's call this maybe J. Because that's the constraint, we need to find an I to the left that is smaller or equal to J because that's a valid ramp. Okay, so if you find one, in this. So if the one on top of the stack is smaller, which in this case, five zero is smaller, then this is a valid ramp. And so we, we want to do it while it's the case. So um, in this, then we just update the best with the, with the difference. So that would be max of best and the difference J minus I. So here, what's the J minus I? Well, it's five, okay, what's the, um, here, instead of putting the, the values, let's put the indices because that's what we need here to get the difference. So the index for six is zero, the index for zero is one. And th that doesn't change really the comparison here because when we take the top of the stack, we just uh, um, get, it, get it as the index and get the element using it. So we just do stack minus one, okay? And we, we apply to A or to nums to the array to get the element, right? So it doesn't change much. Um, okay, so five minus one, that gives us four. So we update the best with four. And we pop up this one. Now you may say, why pop it up? Because then when we're exploring one, if you pop it up, you can't use it anymore. Well, that's okay because when you get to one, right? Either there is a solution with six, then it's equal, maybe it would have been bigger. But if there is a solution with zero, then this solution is smaller than the one with the previous element. And so it's better to take this one. And so we don't actually even need to check for this solution. That's why we pop because we already have a better one. And remember, we are looking for the max. So that's why we can pop it. Okay. Um, and now um, for we pop it this off. So let's just remove it. Um, we are remember at and then we check again, is the top, which is six, smaller or equal to five? No, and so we move to the next element. We are going right to left, remember, right to left. So this is for J, it's going to be from N minus one to zero. And so when we go here, um, is the element in the top of the stack, which is six, is that smaller or equal to one? No, so we move, we continue moving. So now we are here. Is two smaller or equal to six? No. Eight, however, is more or equal to six. Okay. 
and so we check what's the the g minus i well it's going to be the index of eight is g and the index of uh, top of the on the top of the stack that's zero so this is two so it's not bigger so we keep it as it is and then we we pop it off right because remember here this is j minus the top of the stack that we pop off okay and so now at zero there is nothing in the stack so um so we we don't need to do anything here there is nothing in the stack so we stop and so th our answer is four okay so that's the idea we keep track of the smallest elements to the further left right if we find one that is um even though it's small but it's um there is a smaller element to the left then it's better to only have that smallest element because then we would have a, a larger ramp right or a, a larger width ramp okay so that's why we keep track only of the smaller ones okay so zero is the last one because there is nothing smaller than it and once we have those we just go from left to right from right to left right and for each one we just get the if it's valid with the top of the stack we get the width um and then we keep going and that until the end and that's pretty much it now in terms of time complexity both of these are going to be of you know, both of the loops right the one to fill the stack is going to be o of n and then the one to get the best is also in aggregate going to be o of n so overall it's going to be o of n time and since we are using the stack so it's going to be o of n space as well um yeah so that's the idea now let's implement it and make sure it passes um okay so let's implement the solution we just saw in the overview so um we have we need a stack right so this one is going to contain contains indices of values decoding further uh from left to right so we will go through the array let's just have the length here and i'll just rename this to a because it's easier um so it's going to be something like that and this in the range of n we'll check if um if our stack doesn't contain anything or the latest one right is bigger than the current element then we can add the current element because it would be in decreasing order which means basically the previous element is bigger which is exactly what we have here except the stack contains indices so we need to get the value so in this case we want to append i and now we'd have the stack so let me actually just so show you the stack on an example to make sure it's it's easy to understand um and here let's just return a placeholder and you can see for example for this year it's going to be just six and zero so the indices zero and one right and so that's correct now we need to go through right to left okay and then we want to check if while we have a stack okay um and the element in the stack is we need it to be smaller that's the property for the ramp is we need it to be smaller than or equal to the current to the element at position j because remember what we are looking for in the stack is the leftmost uh, bound or the the leftmost in the interval um so that while that's the case then um first we want to record initialize our best ramp width and so it's going to be just the max of that and the ramp width for this one from this j and what's the i the i is just the element at the top of the stack and so let's just pop it off okay and then at the end we just return that best and this in aggregate is going to be at most open because once the stacks uh stack is empty we will no longer call this and this loop runs just for n times at most um so if we submit this it does pass right so i think this is a useful this is a very good problem to practice on especially for it's a good application of monotonic stack um because here we maintain a, st a decreasing st stack here um and yeah that's pretty much it for this problem please like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye